Okay, I'm taking a look at the Magnavox Combo Franken set, and I'm really not going to spend a lot of time videotaping my work on this thing. I'm pretty, pretty sick of YouTube and their new uh, comments policy. Uh, I refuse to set up a Google Plus account, period. I don't need to put any more of my information into the stupid spy grid internet corporate Google monster. So, um, saying that, I refuse to set up a Google Plus account, so I'm not responding to comments, I can't reply to comments, I can't like comments, I can't do anything with comments, and I don't care, and I don't intend on that changing. I would have figured that by now Google would have gotten enough complaints that they would have changed it. It's been in effect now for some two weeks it seems like and you know I guess everyone complained to each other but no one complained to Google or Google just doesn't care they're gonna force everyone to sign up with their pretty much failed uh, social network thing they were trying to get up on Facebook and they couldn't do it anyway I'm doing a couple quick checks here um, there's still voltage there dropping down from the charge of the capacitor I had it on a minute ago but there's this is the regulator uh, and this is the horizontal output and the horizontal output has zero volts on the collector and if you look here you can see that there's a horizontal out so it comes up there through the thing through the coil through that L401 and it ties right to there which ties to the emitter of that transistor. Well, I'm seeing it on the collect. I'm on the collector. Maybe I should switch to the emitter, but I don't think it would be any I don't think it would be any different. Well, let's see. It's Oh yeah, I got the same thing. Okay. So I guess the way this thing works is the horizontal output gets its voltage the horizontal output is getting its voltage through here so the voltage is coming up coming down through this coil over up around and down so I gotta check out why this thing is not doing anything Maybe it's not getting any drive. It requires drive to work. Well, it appears I might have found something here. I, I was checking DC voltages and working my way back towards the horizontal oscillator, and I got to the, the driver, the little driver, not the big pulse driver. And I checked the voltage on the collector, and it's zero, so I started following this back. I got... Uh, 2.5 watt at to 20k got two of those in series here I got some Zener diode some kind of regulator configuration so I, I came back to this uh, R460 here 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 we have here and on that side of it I got zero like 0 0.2 volts and on this side of it here got 236 and it actually if you look at it it actually looks like it's burnt right there on the edge yeah, not that that means anything but let me uh, problem is you turn this thing off And it, it takes so long for the capacitor to discharge, it's just like, you know. So maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just stick a 20K in there. I'll just uh, jump it with a 20K. And it's not... It's cold. If it was, if it was loaded down and shorted on one side it would be getting you know warm or something and uh, it's 
obviously no load on this capacitor the way it's discharging. So I, I have a feeling that thing's open. Let me um, let me see if I could find a 20k and we'll bridge it in there and see if it. Uh, And that's what they are, 20K. 20K at 2.5 watts. Okay, well I jumped across it with an 18K, which actually measures 21K, and the voltage came right up. So on the back side of that resistor, so that's uh, kind of promising. I guess I could get over here. So here we go. This is live. I don't know what's going to happen. Ooh, that sounded real good. We have high voltage. And it shut itself down. It went into shutdown. I wonder why that is. I wonder if I didn't get something hooked up, some ground or something. It ran for a minute. Let's try it again. Now there's nothing. What, what happened here? Wait a second. The other resistor just went open. You gotta be kidding me. Wow, shocked me. Yeah, it's that, that, that the other one went open. Now I've gone around both of them with a 47K just for testing. Oh, here we go. They probably want them in series because they don't want, you know, 250 volts dropping across one single resistor. There we go, we have high voltage again. Seven volts, huh? They want 30 volts there, and I'm only seeing 18. It's kind of weird. Well, it's working. We have high voltage. Let's have a look at the front. Oh, wow. Look at that. Nothing wrong with that CRT. Wow, that looks excellent. I know the camera's blanking it. But it is super bright. I mean, it's actually, you can see it reflecting there. It's lighting up. That CRT is in great shape. if this thing is on screen or, or what this is because it looks like it had the oh I get it the number display they must have moved the number display down to the bottom let me see is that what they did yeah there you go alrighty then starting to make sense now just kind of hacked in there but that's cool I was wondering what that plug was down there the Franken combo is coming to life 
It's kind of weird that this voltage is just moving all over the place, though. 7 volts, and then it was 19 volts, now it's 11 volts. Transistor is not warm. Wow, that's getting hot. That's only a 2 watt, and it wants uh, 2 2.5, so it would want a 40 at 5 watts. Yeah, I need to get the right resistor. That's no problem. This is nice and cool though. I did go through an ESR test all those capacitors, all the electrolytics and they're all good. They're all right on the money. So, let me get a uh, let me get the signal generator over here. So what it looks like on the NTSC generator, really, really good. I don't know why the green is more of a yellowish on the camera. That looks really bright green to me. But I can see on the camera it's actually like a real yellow, light yellow. It's not. That's kind of weird. Still don't know why this voltage is just going all over the place. I need to check into that. It could be the meter. It might not like the horizontal pulses. Maybe I should try it with an analog meter and see what what I get. Um, I'm going to pick up two 20K resistors and replace both of those. Uh, I got the parts for the turntable. They came in from uh, Gary. And I'm going to clean and lubricate the turntable and replace the needle. There will be no more videos on this. I'm, I'm done with that. Uh, the tuner will be cleaned and lubricated and serviced and whatever. And then it can move on to doing what the cabinet, what the uh, owner wants done with it. But the TV is pretty much, I'm considering it done. It's got this popping here. And the popping is almost on a pattern, like something's charging up and discharging. It's kind of weird. This voltage is 7, and then 19, and then 11, and then 8, and then 12. So anyway, uh, there's the Magnavox Franken combo television set repair horizontal output power supply resistor failure drive thingy repair open resistors were the cause uh, one resistor is open then after I jumped it the other one went open a second later probably just old and corroded and cigarette juice